Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Yeah, people uh, are going to be celebrating out there for the 4th of July. Uh, how are we looking for, for, the, for Thursday coming up? What's the biggest firework you've ever shot off? The biggest firework I've ever shot off? I don't know, probably just some small bottle rockets or something. Oh, you've got me beat. Yeah. I think it's a sparkler. Sparkler. <laughs> Those things still get pretty hot. you got to be they careful. They do. They do. We just turn it. Uh, looks good, and it, it might be the first. No, we already hit 90, but it would be in 90-degree weather, I think, we're looking at for July 4th. All right. So just what you want, I yeah, think. Yeah, right. I think. <laughs> It'll turn more humid by Friday, though. We'll take a look at Storm Tracker right now. There's still a few thunderstorms not severe or anything close to severe, but certainly some lightning being detected here just south of Stowe now actually 89 a wet ride once you head east of Burlington out into central Vermont, but that's really the only thunderstorm we have left. There's a little shower there near Bennington moving into Massachusetts, but the trend here will be for less. Most of this activity has been driven by the heating of the day, so once we lose the sun, those will diminish and look off to the west. A lot of sunshine, a lot of dry weather. So we have a nice stretch of weather here going forward into July 4th with only one little exception on Tuesday morning. So there's the sun over Lake Champlain, 74 in Burlington. A lot of clouds, but they're generally the thinner variety high up. So there's still sun visible and not much humidity right now. It's 73 in Plattsburgh. We have 66 in Montpelier where some of that rain came through. Also 66 in Montpelier. So the dew points are right around 60. So it's a little bit humid, but certainly nowhere close to that red category. We really haven't been there yet this year, but I think we will be oppressively humid on Friday. It's a pretty strong signal that the air gets soupy right after July 4th. That's the key part of that. So it certainly turns hot and a little more humid over the next couple of days. But again, really Friday and Saturday, the end of this week would be when it's most uncomfortable. So here's the sun tomorrow, mostly sunny on Monday. And then take a look at what happens here early on Tuesday morning. A little band of showers comes in from Canada, but it's not an all day rain. Just a couple showers in the morning should be some more sun by later on Tuesday. So the sky clears out tonight. Most of us in the 50s, a uh, couple upper 40s and the beach and boating forecast for tomorrow looks tremendous. There's less of a breeze on Lake Champlain. The UV index very high, but look at this. The water up to 69 and the lake levels down to 98 feet. So it looks amazing on the lake tomorrow and just about any body of water because it'll be upper 70s and low 80s. For highs with the sunshine tomorrow, 83 in Burlington and heading south, 84 should do in Brattleboro. So here's the five day forecast again on Tuesday. Some very light hit or miss shower activity in the morning. Wednesday is sunny. The Burlington fireworks Wednesday night, 87, a little humidity. Same deal on July 4th, a little humid, but it's hot. It's 90 on July 4th and I think the oppressive humidity very humid on Friday and Saturday there is at the end of the week. There'll be some storms too in there on Friday and Saturday, but after they move through probably by midday on Saturday, it gets a whole lot more comfortable on Sunday. So the second half of next weekend looks really good guys.